I'm gonna one of these uh, purpose of these videos is to give you the breadth of what I know. I'm not bragging. I've been an alternative healthcare practitioner for years, uh, 30 years. Uh, 20 years ago, I was forced into a learning method which has consumed my life, and it's based on finding people's dreams and giving them a guidance mechanism so that they can keep moving towards their highest states of awareness. Those elusive peak experiences that when you're there, you don't really care about anything else. You like life, you like people, and you want to see if you can sustain it. But I, I had a booth at a chiropractic show, at a Carl Parker show in uh, Las Vegas. And a gal came and sat in my booth and I said, what are you doing? And I watch people real closely. I ask them questions and I don't always listen to the answer. I've been accused of that since I was in the third grade and I found it a very useful skill because wow, people can be tedious. But I do pay attention to them and if they're enthusiastic, it is captivating for me. And I said to this guy, you know, what are you doing? She go, she said, I'm an art therapist. I said, what? She said, I'm an art therapist. She lit up curiously when she said art and then dimmed down when she said that she was a therapist. I said, oh, hang on a sec, hang on a sec. I said, you're with the chiropractic group here, huh? In Vegas. She said, yeah. My husband's a chiropractor. I said, yeah. And you love doing art, but somebody told you that uh, you needed to be a therapist. You needed to help sick people. She said, yeah, I don't like them. I said, me neither. Me neither. I, but I said, there's no reason that you, I'm a chiropractor, I'm a doctor, and sometimes I have to put up with them, but there's no reason you need to do art therapy. It's a good idea, and it's hurting your soul. I said, what do you really love doing? And she said, I love cooking and drinking wine and cooking, and I love having people at the house and just enjoying them and drinking wine and cooking. And I said, okay. I said, how many completed, how many pieces of art do you have for sale? And she said, none. Now, with artists, uh, you have to ask the right question. It's most people you have to do that. I said, okay, how many completed pieces of art do you have that if somebody sold them for you, they, they would sell for money? And she said, oh, 30 or 40. And I said, okay, then who believes in your art enough to sell it at the prices that you think it would be worth? And she said, that'd be my mom. She said, my mom absolutely believes in my art and says to me that I should, and she puts these prices on it that embarrass me, but I think they're really fair. And I said, okay, if I may, I want to give you an assignment. She said, okay. I said, within two weeks of leaving this seminar, I want you to go home and get a big party together. And I want you to get wine, and I want you to cook, and I want you to drink wine, as much, as much wine as you want to have. I want you to cook as much food as you want to cook. And I want your mom to sell as much of your art as she can in that evening. I want you to make thousands of dollars. She looked at me for a long time and she said, you know, about the last thing I expected in Vegas was enlightenment. <laughs> Have a fun day. www.micpeakperformance.com